Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be doing a live review of the new track from Tramper, Sickhead. Here we go, the final Black Label release of all time. Uh, yeah, stopping for good after this week and capping off a weekend here of Black Label coverage on the channel, I put up a little 10 track tribute video to the label yesterday. A nice little celebration of Black Label and everything that Never Say Die did with it. With the imprint over the seven year period or so that it was a thing. And yeah, if you haven't checked it out yet, I will link it right here. But yeah, who better to have the final track and final say on the imprint than Tramper. And I think I speak for many if not most when I say that when you think of Black Label you just think Tramper. You know, maybe Bad Clark as well who would run a very close second, but Tramper very much the face of Black Label, I would say. And uh, hoping that I'll enjoy this one just a bit more than Your Love, which came out around a month ago, and which I wasn't massive on from him. But yeah, regardless, looking forward to this one, and uh, feels weird. This is the last time that I'm going to be reviewing new Black Label music. Very much the end of an era, but yeah. Hearing it here for the first time, gonna play it a couple of times and provide comment along the way. Let's go. Oi, 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 oi. Some of the break moments are very, very good. Really well cut. Yeah, I mean, Tramper stamped all over it. That uh, very harsh, ravenous sound just kind of blaring out. It's what he's all about. And that is what we're getting here for the final Black Label release. Not the most inventive idea, not that adventurous, but you know, I'd say he's never really fully been about that. Ooh, okay. That fake out. What I do like about it is that, yeah, it kind of catches you off guard in terms of when the heaviness is actually going to come in. And again, like, maybe I should be anticipating that by this point, but yeah, I just never know what it's going to do. Yeah, I mean, in many ways, a typical Tramper tune. The brooding, dark introduction and, you know, not massively nondescript, but not a lot going on, but just doing a thing of creating atmosphere and setting a scene which is what he's all about, and then the heaviness, just again, that that ravenous, blaring sound, which, yeah, we've come to know and love him for over the years, and those really nice, kind of, you know, really well cut break moments that just keep it ticking along and provide a bit of energy to the overall idea, and keep you guessing as well, which I did also mention just before, which, yeah, is just a good way of keeping his music a bit unpredictable, which works well in contrast, I think, with... Uh, the idea being quite straightforward and, you know, not quite one-dimensional. I wouldn't go that far, you know, he keeps it varied and quite jumpy, quite uh, quite spicy, if you will, considering the idea is quite, uh, yeah, just quite straightforward in itself. But, uh, yeah, it does work well in contrast still with the unpredictability of it, the spontaneous feel that we do get through those break moments, which, yeah, just kind of keep you on your toes, keep you on your feet and catch you off guard a bit, which is good. Um, but yeah, I think the midsection as well was fine, allowing the tension to rise again, which, yeah, as we all know by now, has also become a bit of a staple in his design, his aesthetic, if you will. But uh, yeah, I think for the most part, just a pretty standard Tramper kind of tune, which for many, you know, that has become a bit of a, a bit of a drawback with his music that he hasn't quite kept it that, well, quite varied enough over the course of his discography, but then on the flip side, you might say that, well, for the final tune here, 
the final Black Label release. We want something that we know Tramper for and which we know him on Black Label for. So yeah, personally, I think he's keeping it quite spicy here. And it's one of those, I think, more so than other tunes he's put out in the recent past that I can get on board with the more I hear it. So uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing it again and again, which I think I will be doing. The second time of which will be right now. So yeah, just going to play it again from start to finish and see if I get any more from it or maybe a bit less. Who knows? Let's give it another listen. Classic, moody, brooding, super dark and deep tramper introduction. You can always imagine his introductions in like a boxing montage or something like that. Just about got it there. <laughs> Slowly getting the hang of it now, you know, when the bass is actually coming in. Yeah, hearing it again now, must admit, not one that I'm overly enthused by. You know, not one that I think I'm going to be going back to all that much. Uh, yeah, not an idea that I'm getting loads out of, but then again, you know, it depends what way you want to look at it. If if you're looking for something completely new from him, then yeah, probably won't be getting that here. But if you're looking for something to kind of represent Tramper on Black Label, then yeah, this song is uh, it's pretty good. And I love the change in the layout here of percussion and claps. That fake out. Actually, something I just noticed on the second time around, that the second drop is just completely different. The layout of sounds, just unleashing the idea in a new way, which is good. Yeah, not too much more to add. I think a couple of things there that I noticed on the second time around, being the slight change up that we get for the second drop, which I touched on. Which is good, I think, yeah, unleashing the idea in a new way, which yeah, just sheds a new light on the tune, I think, as it develops, as it goes on. And I think the flow as well, and the different kinds of rhythm that we got by giving a different layout with the sounds as the idea went on in the tune, I think works very well for it. But yeah, my main takeaway from that second listen being that not a tune here that I'm going to be going back to all that much, just not massively enthused and yeah the idea is not not really throwing me per se in any way but actually you know maybe apart from the way it's cut in points you know the breaks were good I like that but the main idea just yeah not offering that much on the invention front for me but uh, yeah I think it really does depend which way you want to look at it you know as I said before if uh, if you're looking for just a really out there tune and one that's super inventive and adventurous and a bit wild and wacky, outlandish, all of that, then you're not really going to get that. And Tramper has never really been one for that. He's always been one to kind of hone in on the sonic aspect as opposed to the ideas and just letting the real rawness of his sound ring true. And we do get that. So, uh, yeah, if you're happy not to fall on that side of it, and expect something really creative, then you'll be all right. Because uh, ultimately I think what we get here is just a good representation of Tramper on Black Label. And that is a good thing for the final Black Label release. So uh, yeah, if you're kind of happy to accept it as that, then I think you'll enjoy it as a kind of look back and retrospective final cut overview of Black Label and what it's given, what it was about. So uh, yeah, for that, I think this tune, Sickhead, pretty good from Tramper. So, uh, yeah, gonna leave it at that for my thoughts on the final Black Label release ever. Well, I mean, indefinitely, I suppose. And uh, it does feel a bit weird, I must admit, the final time that I'm gonna be reviewing new Black Label music. But it is what it is. They're moving on, never say die to new things, and looking forward to what they have in store. So uh, yeah, Tramper, Sickhead, final Black Label release, and uh, there we go, on we move, farewell, Black Label. But yeah, there we have it, my live review of the new track from Tramper, Sickhead, the final Black Label release of all time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. What did you guys make of Sickhead yourselves? Do you have any favourite moments from it? 
And what do you make of it as the final Black Label release? Do you think it was a fitting one? Drop all of your views, thoughts, and opinions in the comments section down below. Beyond that, if you're enjoying the content, then subscribe if you're yet to, and hit the bell along the way, and my social media accounts and Discord are linked below, as well as the Naughty Step Patreon page. Which, yeah, if you want to help the channel grow, reach its full potential, then check out the different tiers and get involved. It is linked below. But yeah, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know. And I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.